This was the first 4th of July parade in Highland Park since the 2022 tragedy. And while it was scaled back this year and followed a different route, it brought up a range of emotions for those who were there the day of the shooting, leaving behind shattered families and a community forever scarred. What on the surface looks to be a joyous parade with marching bands and floats also carries an undertone of somber remembrance. What you don't see at first glance is that many here waving their American flags, celebrating our country's independence, are survivors of a mass shooting, one that took place two years ago at this very parade. Well, I'm so proud of how our community has supported one another. I wish, I wish it were not because of a horrific act of mass gun violence. An overwhelming feeling of sorrow and grief flows throughout Highland Park for the seven lives lost and 48 others injured when a shooter let off 83 rounds in one minute. Faces of joy along the parade route mirrored by ones of sadness as memories linger in their minds. It was terrifying because then you see everybody running past and it's like what's going on and nobody knew. Um, so it was literally one of the most horrific things you can ever think about. Then you're in fear for how long then after. The magnitude of that moment forever felt by those who did lose loved ones, like Danny Cohn. She was there with her dad, whose cousin Jackie Sondheim was killed in the shooting. I hit the ground and covered my head and, you know, I saw my dad's feet moving. When I popped back up, he had his hands on Jackie's face. I was like, it's okay, it's okay. I was like, she doesn't have a pulse, let's get her on the ground. And I started CPR and it wasn't until I, you know, was pumping on her chest that we realized she had been shot and she was killed instantly. Residents say they lost a sense of safety that day. They'd perhaps taken for granted, but they refused to let the evil actions of one individual steal the cheer of tradition from them. Today's celebrations continued with a fourth fest in Sunset Woods Park with bouncy houses and games for families to enjoy. I'm glad that people are out here to remember why we are Highland Park strong. And as you can hear behind me, the fun is still continuing. Now, the message we kept hearing time and time again today is that this community refuses to let tragedy define them. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.